New images in a high-profile police shooting that left a man paralyzed. Good evening. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Tom Haynes. I'm Courtney Bryant. Devin Nolly led officers on a police chase in South Fulton County in 2018. He was shot from behind while running away from officers. Two former East Point officers now face charges. Fox News Deidre Dukes is live at the Fulton County Courthouse where Nolly's attorneys held a news conference today. Deidre? And during that news conference, Mr. Nolly's attorneys releasing the video said that it in fact does prove in their words that police officers used excessive force that day. They also took the opportunity to praise a Fulton County DA Fonnie Willis for pursuing the case. Police body cam video released to the public for the first time since the December 2018 incident that left Devin Nolly paralyzed from the neck down. The district attorney Willis and her office secured two indictments of former officers for East Point, uh, Rodney, Etienne and Sharon Warner. Speaking outside the Fulton County Courthouse Friday afternoon, Nolly's attorneys thank the GBI and Fulton County DA Fonnie Willis for their handling of the investigation that resulted in two former East Point police officers being indicted by a Fulton County grand jury. So we wanted to come and applaud the district attorney for doing her job. She did it well and these individuals now will be prosecuted and we hope convicted for what they did. The defendants face aggravated assault and aggravated battery charges in connection with the shooting. I've had an opportunity to speak to Mr. Nolly and he expressed that he's very happy that the, the, the wheels of justice are starting to move. Officers contend Nolly rammed an unmarked police car and drove off when he was approached by East Point police officers investigating a report of a stolen vehicle. South Fulton police joined the pursuit. Officers on scene reportedly fired 20 shots during the incident, striking an unarmed Nolly four times as he ran from officers after crashing his vehicle. Shot in the back twice, shot in the legs twice while running away again unarmed. Nolly's attorneys filed a civil suit in 2019 against the cities of East Point and College Park, Edian and Barner. We believe that based upon the situations that has occurred in this case, the city of East Point and the city of South Fulton must do the right thing and take care of Mr. Nolly for the rest of his life financially. In a written statement, a spokesperson for the city of East Point stated, this incident occurred several years ago under a previous administration and there is pending and possible future litigation. The current administration will have no further comment at this time. Nolly's attorneys say that their client now requires round-the-clock care. They are seeking $30 million in damages. In Fulton County, Deidre Dukes, Fox 5 News. Deidre, thanks for the latest from there. Meantime